Good afternoon, I'm Jeff. I'm a Sewer Tech Northwest. Today we're at 2594 Northeast Hyde Street here in Hillsboro, located at the front of the home just beyond the garage door here. We have a four inch ABS clean out as our point of access, and I want to point this out here first and foremost. The uh, clean out flange and possibly the standpipe is going to need repair. This whole spot here was completely caved in. You can see the broken plastic. Uh, I had to put my camera in a sink drain out to, or clean out to even find this. And um, Anyway, the cap's all caved in. It needs a new flange and cap at the very least. There's the smash cap. We had roots growing down. Anyhow, we're going to insert the camera here and check the overall condition and serviceability of the sanitary sewer line. You can see we have root mats growing all the way down into here, so the standpipe may also be damaged too. Alright, we're going to zero the camera out right here at the base of the clean out. Here we go. I'm going to transition here over to 6 inch concrete pipes that come out of We'll take another look at that on the way out. Here at 47 feet out, we have reached the main, or 48 feet, we've reached the main lateral. I'm going to do locates to verify where the line terminates at, and then we'll let the pipe drain out completely before reeling back. Hey, located the camera head successfully out the main on Northeast Hyde. Pretty much does a straight shot out there. If you were to touch the water, it should recognize that that outlet has been grounded and immediately trip it. We do have a minor belly here in the line. It's only about four feet long, and we do have some junk that's collected in the flow line. Granted, I would imagine a little bit of that may be stuff that's fallen down from the clean out. Uh, anyway, this water level here is sitting right at a half of an inch. It's almost 
And I'll kind of park it here right in the midst of this. It's actually less than that. It's about a quarter of an inch right in the middle. It's a half of an inch. Typically, it takes at least five feet of pipe with at least an inch of standing water before I even see real debris buildup. What we have built up here is grease that's gone down the sink. Uh, there is some kind of dirt-looking stuff in, in the low line here, and I think that's from junk that fell down from the clean-out when we popped this cap open. We'll kind of shove some of that out of the way here at the camera. Anyhow, I do recommend a hydrojet to clean the line, to clean the debris from this particular spot here. Um, but in general, unless you're flushing things like rags and I mean stuff that really is not intended to go down the line, a belly like this is, is very rarely going to cause any issues at all. Now you can see that most of what we have here is grease, and grease shouldn't be going down the sink to begin with. Now, I'll get this located just to see where it's at, but typically I don't even recommend re repairs on, on bellies this small. I do, however, recommend a hydrojet to clean the line out. Um, there was probably some junk that fell down from the clean out here. That needs to get cleaned out. Um, and then there's also some grease and looks like maybe some wipes or something built up in there. Aside from that, I would just be careful as to what you put down the line. And this is not a belly that you need to have nightmares about. Um, this, this one can even handle probably a little bit of abuse. Um, but you just want to try and make sure the only thing going down the toilet is full of the toilet paper and the sink, uh, a reasonable amount of food. You want to avoid all the fats and greases and stuff. We did some toilet flushes here. What looks like has happened is over time, little bits of rocks and gravel have fallen into the line here and collected in this low spot. You can't see it now that the dirt's been stirred up, but just a moment ago, the water was pretty crystal clear. So anyway, very minimal amount of standing water. Once that, those little jagged rocks and things are out of there, I mean, you're not going to have any issues with flow. Again, as long as you're not flushing giant wads of toilet paper down the line or paper towels, stuff that shouldn't be going down there. Aside from that, the line has adequate flow all the way out. Then we're going to reverse direction here and scope back underneath the garage floor until we get back into the crawl space. Uh, but aside from the, the bit of debris there in the line and the busted clean out, everything we just scoped there, all the pipe itself, is in good shape and has adequate flow. Alright, at this point here, we're well within the crawl space. I'm going to go ahead and reel the camera out. I'm going to recommend a hydrojet to clean the debris from the line and a repair to, to fix the broken clean out standpipe. Aside from that, good looking sewer line. I do recommend the line be re scoped afterwards to make sure those little bits of gravel and rocks have been removed from the belly. Where you just subtract the uh, debris out of the line, the, the sewer line is functioning properly at this time.